Was that him bringing another one? Yes. So I'll ask you those questions. Welcome to the 2023 Under-18 Australian National Lacrosse Championships. You're watching the 3v4 playoff between South Australia and New Zealand. My name is Shando Oliver and it's my pleasure to bring you, or host this game, sorry, today. And joining me is a wonderful friend of mine. He is the West Australian's um, current men's coach and the coach of the Bayswater Men's State League team. Adam Jord is at Jour. No one knows who that is. <laughs> so let's um, introduce him as his proper name, Frenchie. Welcome, Frenchie. Thanks, Chandel. Thanks for having me. That's Glad a, to be here today. Yeah, good to have you back on ALN. Yeah, it's a great sunny day. Should be a good game of lacrosse between the New Zealand 18s and the South Australian team who have been in every game that they've, they've played this week. You know, the uh, standing champions, um, unfortunately not being able to defend their title. Um, forced to play in the third play third place game today but you know it should be a good game between these two yeah let's um umpires are setting up for the first face off i love how they have two of them in there <laughs> check for cheating and clean win of the face off by new zealand looking for a fasty early yeah, ben cowan gets his hands free south australian defense just collapses on him there yeah picked up by south australian defense so long poles running it out Great clearance work yeah, for South really, Australia. Really great work Real for the long clean. poles. South Australia start to bring their ball into their attacking zone. A bit of a fumble, which is cleaned up by New Zealand. Pressure turns it over again, and they're carrying it through to the to X, just controlling it here. And just again for those who are new to lacrosse, when we say X, because I used to use it all the time as well, <laughs> that means the space behind the back of goals, which is where a lot of attacking play is set up. If we are using some lacrosse lingo, we'll try and um, break it down for you because we know that not everyone knows the stuff that we know. But I've got a quick, quick feed, a shot. Look. Great feed from young Rob there. Yep, through to, I'm just trying to see who the goal scorer was. I think it might be Hayden Eag, number 17, I oh, think yep. it was. Yep, quick inside finish between the keeper's legs. Got to Early hate those start ones. For South Australia. Yep, and South Australia opening open the scoring today with one nil lead in this opening few minutes of the under 18 2018 national championship game. Three v four final that is. Over on the far side, we have West Australia warming up against Waikato for the three v four three v four playoff. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes down. As we move through to a face-off. Ball's rolling out Ball's of bounds. Out. Trying to work out whose ball it's going to be. I think it's going to be an SA ball. Oh, it's a new, looks like a New Zealand ball. No one really knows. They're all... SA Refs grabbed it. pushing both pointing different ways. Yeah, got to love that, don't you? Coaches love that. <laughs> Great trust they're going to converge in the middle of the field and have yep. a chat about. The old umpiring convention, we call it. <laughs> a few meetings happen every now and then. Just making sure they make the right decision. Looks like it is going to be a black ball, which we brought back in by Beck. Slowly working its way down to New Zealand's well, offensive zone. Loose but pass. Backed up. Can they keep it in? Under pressure from the South Aussie defender there. Ball's going to turn over. It's got to be a little bit cleaner. Yep. And that's the thing. It's opening game jitters of, you know, a big game like this. Um, oh. Often you see the first couple of passes might be missed, but then they kind yeah. of clean it up. The young Daniel Felipper there just splits and drops the ball out of bounds. Another young. loose pass, but New Zealand clean it up and hang on to it. Playing a little two-man game on that side. They say coming in with some pressure. A lot of the ball through Beck at the moment. Big bull dodge and a shot. Backed up by Vic 
sorry, I was going to say Victoria, <laughs> backed up by, it's just the, heart, the light's hard up here, backed up by the Kiwis. Being brought in by Scott Cathcart. I think this young bloke's just uh, got a college deal. So oh, he's, wow. He's, I think he's going over to, um, if I'm correct, University of Santa Barbara to play some lacrosse. Oh, wow. You are the man of the hour with the, oh. the fun <laughs> facts here, Frenchie. <laughs> Very helpful for me, yeah. As I'm learning about <laughs> the Kiwis, I do Kiwis. try. I do try. My wife will tell you I'm very trying as well. Do your homework. There's an offside call on red. So New Zealand going to have a man up opportunity here, which means, can you just explain what that is, Frenchy? For so our viewers at home, it's a power play. So they're going to have an extra man on the field. So New Zealand went offside, so they have to have a man sit in the penalty box now. It'll be a 30 second advantage to the New Ze to the Kiwis. Um, where they'll have six players on the field and in the offensive half and the South Australians will have five on the defensive. Yep. And just for those at home, we often say man up all day, even though if the girls are playing, yeah. it's just it's just lacrosse lingo. We're not trying to be like sexist or <laughs> not gender diverse. <laughs> but we have a goal there by the Kiwis and they are happy. Bit of a broken play and dodged into the zone, which... Isn't ideal, but it's a good little finish there from uh, Connor Harvey. Pro I think it was Connor Harvey Price, number eight. I love seeing the Kiwis' different style of game to ours. Um, even just the little cultural traditions at the start of their games that they they bring to every yeah. game of lacrosse they play. They really keep it real for New Zealand. And um, I mean, they're moving up the chain in world championship level really they quickly. They're, they're doing a great job. I mean, I was uh, lucky enough to be involved with them back in 2006. Oh, you're going um, back there, aren't you? Some of these kids weren't even born. I know. <laughs> some, I found out yes the other day that some of these kids were actually were actually born in 2006. <laughs> <laughs> Ball picked up by Higgins. <laughs> I can hear a bit of ABBA in the background. I think, I'm not sure which team's <laughs> cranking it, but nothing like a bit of ABBA to warm up to. Yeah. Always love a bit of DJ on the side. <laughs> As the ball's at top with uh, Kernigan. Bumps it on to Walsh. Walsh down to Rob. Walsh, I believe Rob is from the Glenelg Lacrosse Club. Hello to all the yeah. bays out there. there. And a goal. Great little finish inside. It's like it's all going through young Rob at the moment. Pretty sure his, his old man was Stewie Rob. Yeah, I believe uh, from the information I've been doing my <laughs> homework on, he, uh, Stu Rob's actually coaching the women's state league team at Glenelg this year. Right, right. And I hear that they've been having a bit of fun off the field this week in Perth too. Something about a hat... Hat competition down okay. in Scarborough after hours. So <laughs> ask at, back at home what's going on there, South Australians, when they return. Another good win by the New Zealand face-off, but just could not control it. Yep. And again, we see the ball through, Rob. Down to down Dallison. Dallison, yeah. With Eag now. There's an Eag in both teams, so I'm assuming oh, brother-sister combo, yeah. Yeah. Both great players. What's what you want? Bit of talent in the family. Not like yours. No, <laughs> not at all. Well, different so, sports, but definitely talent. I wouldn't say I was talented. Just loud. And brutal. <laughs> <laughs> great finish from Rob there. And Rob just putting his stamp on the game early. Yep, and... Bit of love back from Eag there to Rob. SA coaching staff happy with that. In um, the coaching staff for SA this year, we've got Sam Kilford as head coach. Assistant coach is Mark Bahagia, I think I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, Bahagia. Yep. And coach mentor is Bob Carter. Now, Bobby Carter's been around lacrosse for a long time. What do you know about Bobby Carter, Frenchie? He's got big elbows. He's got big <laughs> elbows. It's not something I was expecting you to say, but it is something I was expecting you to say. What do you mean by that? Tell us a tale. <laughs> Every, everybody's felt Bob's elbows at some stage, I think. Okay. <laughs> He's got a little timeout. Coach is on cue nah, there. Nah, uh, 
Bob Bob's a was a very good lacrosse player, and uh, it it transferred down through the generations through them all. I mean, Anson's one that I knew quite I, I know quite well. Anson. Yes, Anson's a very good lacrosse player. Yes, yeah, saw him play at Denver World Cup. Yep. There's there's yep. me going back, and uh, it, it brings a different perspective to things. I think so. You know, you. you Guys like having someone like Bob around that group is fantastic for those kids. You know, yeah. um, it's, it's great for them to have the knowledge of a, a veteran, like, <laughs> like you know, or, or a legend of, of South Australian lacrosse like Bobby Carter. Yeah, there, he's been in a few Aussie kids, teams. Yeah, helping these kids through. You know, it's the same as, I mean, every state's got these th these blokes like that 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 know a bit about the game. And, and they're happy to share with the kids, which is great to see. Yeah, it sure is. As we set up for the face-off, two yeah. refs back in there, just as many refs as players. Got two number fours on the wing, Higgins and Beck. South Australia and Kiwi. On the far side, we've got... It's hard to see those numbers. Maybe I need some glasses. There's Tom Perkins and Alex Thompson. Goes the way of South Australia's attack, but we've got a foul, Ooh. we've got a hold call, which will say South Australia win that. Yes. I was going to say, the, the face-off guys, so South Australia's won theirs out and New Zealand picked it up. New Zealand's won theirs out and South Australia picked it yeah. up. But Work it out, boys. Yeah. <laughs> now, in the men's game here, you're allowed to clamp, aren't you, on the face-off? Yes, you are allowed yeah, to Yeah, so we learnt quickly at box you can't clamp on the face-off. Oh, and a shot off the pipe, backed up by SA. Again, through young Rob. Seems to be making it all happen over the, uh, in their forward line for him. He goes again, splits to his left. Looking to drive Change and a shot. Hands. Great little finish there. Yeah, beautiful bounce shot. Golly, just sure looking. That was. I think it might be Tom Perkins. I'm not, I'm not sure. Golly, just no. looking like what happened? Number nine, Riley Attenborough. Hello, Riley and Riley's family. If you're online, give us a shout out. I will jump on during quarter time break and let you know who's watching. If you are watching from afar, please let us know. We'd love to hear for how far away we are getting our spectators from. And French and I will do our best to have our fun voices on, <laughs> bring a bit of comedy to the, the broadcast. And that... Again, the face-off one out. Going the wrong way, gone yeah. The other, gone the other way. Picked up by number 47, which is Seagar. Yeah. From Just controls it. New Zealand. Ball cleaned up by SA there in the defence. Are we going to say, Frenchie? I was going to say, there's a lot of scrappy ball coming through the midfield. Mm. I think, you know, the the forward lines are sort of controlling it a bit when they get it. But yep. it's... Yeah, like that. Like that. It's Picked up by Rob. Yeah, he's very clean with the ball. Almost an intercept there by the Kiwis. Little drive from X. Looking for an option in the middle. Will Allison there. A little big shot from the outside. So now the fifth, just going to ask you as yes. a coach, now the 15's marked here because yes. you guys don't play with a fan. Do no. you think that's going to be more of a guide for your attacking setup or your defensive setup? I mean, I think it could be. Like in the past, you can see that, you know, when you're coaching um, fresher defences or younger blokes coming through into that state league and the, the higher grades, when the fan's been on the field, it's been something you can use to guide them. Yep. Um, you know, Normally it's don't play defence inside the fan. Yeah. Um, with the 15, um, I think as well, like, you can see that 15 that, you know, it, it is going to be something for the offences to to see where where they can engage from and where defences can push out to. Yep. Yeah, it's I'm just... getting used to the to the extra lines. Yeah, for us in, it's in the Australia, distance. In Australia, you know, like, it, it, when you play overseas or... Like, even when, when I played in Europe or coached in Europe, um, you had the extra lines from the other sports on the field anyway. Yeah. You know? Well, great clean-up. So, Kiwi keeper just pumped the ball in a big clear, which was cleaned up by SA, but turned over again in the midfield. Now it's a battle for the ball. 
picked up by number 24, Pipes from New Zealand, who will run the ball down into New Zealand's offensive Good control zone. There. Yeah, really great control to double coming. New Zealand just settling it down here with the ball in Harvey Price's stick. Yep. I'm going to ask you more, a lot of questions about the men's game throughout That's this fine. one. Do you reckon we need a shot clock? Um, I could go either way, personally, with the shot clock. Yep. Um, I'm the same. I think, I don't think it's the be-all and end-all of the game. Uh, we had the shot clock previously in the past. We've had a shot clock. Yep. We've had a clearance clock. We still have that now. Yep. But um, when we played the, the the wall series back in the early 2000s, <laughs> remember that? Yeah, yeah. We had the I shot remember. clock in the game there. We had, a, I think, a 60-second shot clock in that. That was a curtain, wasn't it? Yeah, on yep. the hockey field. Big oh, shot. Worm burner. Scott Cathcart there. He's a happy man. Yes. Makes our score 4-2. Um, but, I mean, the shot clock will speed it up and it, it, it can go either way with with the development of the game. Yeah, it'll it stop the it, stalling, that's for sure. Yeah, it will stop stalling. But I often sometimes like the stall if I'm the team that's winning. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I, uh, I find that I've had this discussion with the umpires before and that, you know, it's, it's on them to control the game with the rules that are there. Yep. So, you know, people can complain about time control I suppose you'd say yep from the coaches point of views and things like that you know like I know people know I'm one to use my time out strategically as well when mm -hmm. it comes to penalties or keeping a game flow going yep or breaking it up yep. um, but that's within the game you know so you yeah, play absolutely. within the game like it doesn't matter as a coach you adjust to what you have to play with yep agreed so, I mean, every coach should be using their timeout strategically. Well, I think it's... You if know, you, if you know what there, you're doing... You're not just there to manage the players. Yeah, like, no. You've got to actually manage the game, you know, like... Yep. As they say, have the ball up with Rob at the right-hand side. I think New Zealand need to do a better job of taking away his left hand. Yep. Maybe overplay it a little bit. Send him that low side. Yep. As they have the ball at X. Just moving it around their offensive zone. Rob looking to drive. That's oh, a bit better. Beautiful little one hand pass. I just didn't <laughs> connect. As that was a bit, bit of a better setup by the defender there. Looking like he's giving him his right hand side and, and overplaying that left so he doesn't have it. Good clean out inside there. I think they're going to call it for interference. Just a bit of a. Don't catch the ball there, mate. Message, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so spoken by a defender. South Australia getting the ball behind. Back to Rob again. He's found him on the back pipe again. Oh, Pick the ball up out of the crease. crease. Yeah, I think, uh, I think he stepped in the yeah, crease. Yeah, he must have he stepped in it. to get that crease call. Because it actually hit him and landed in the back of the, <laughs> the goal net. <laughs> I'll have that back, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Nothing worse than being hit by a shot. No. Nah. New Zealand on a quick clear up the sideline. From Murdoch Beck. Finding his teammate Ben Cowan. He's setting up for a dodge. He splits to his right, looks across himself. Charlie Clarkson just drops the ball. End of the quarter. End of the quarter. And just while we've got a bit of time, I'll give some shout outs to our friends online. So I've got Emma Kernigan, yay, mum watching from the supermarket in Adelaide. <laughs> now that is commitment. Well done, Emma. Great to hear our surname pronounced correctly. Look, we do our best to serve our players I'm all well. All about surnames. <laughs> yeah, sure. So Frenchy's name, because for, for, he's called Frenchy, is Jordi St. George. I nearly introduced him as Adam Margaret May, Jordi St. George, because that's his sister's <laughs> middle name. So her name is Nicole Margaret May, Jordi St. George. But um, we'll stick with we'll stick with Frenchy for today. We've got Penelope Baba, nice shooting Scotty, Terry Clarkson watching from Oriwa, I hope I said that right. Um, grandson Charlie number two. Well, 
Good luck, Charlie. You, we've got your granddad online. Tony Stewart. Yes, Bob Carter is a legend. We, we have said that. <laughs> um, Sarah Young. Go Orlando. Daniel Fitzpatrick, who is a top fan of ALN. Yeah, Riley. Go the Young Guns. Sam Hissey up the red. So we've got a lot of people dialing in from both South Australia and New Zealand today. Axel Beck. Scott Cathcart, Cathcart sorry, has accepted scholarship to Cowan University. Oh, Cowan. Oh, Chowan. Chowan. Chowan, sorry, yep. yes, not UCSB. Great up-and-coming young player. Well, thanks for the clarity. Um, Nikki Vosey, let's go Reds. And I know there's a Vosey playing in goals in the South Australian game up next in the girls. Uh, Daniel Shields, couple of goats on the mic today. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel coaching over at Wittenberg in the US. I think he's uh, talking Bayswater about boy. you. But thanks, Daniel, for the um, kind compliments. It's, it's more me being the goat rather than old mate here to my right. But yeah, that's right. We'll it's all, take it's it. all about you, Shindel. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and then Pam McLaughlin, Go New Zealand. So great to hear from you all so early. Great to know we've got people online listening, uh, live and watching free here on the Australian Lacrosse Network as we set up for the second quarter of this 3v4 final at the Wembley Lacrosse Club, hosted by Lacrosse WA. This is the 2023 Under-18 Australian National Lacrosse Championships. Players just getting, making their way out to set up and some taking a moment and a water break on the bench. Coaches looking quite poised. This good game could go either way. I think the, um, New Zealand have done a great job holding SA out. They could have broken away early. Obviously, they're yeah. a really high-performing team and New Zealand have stepped up and accepted this it's challenge. It's good to see the New Zealand kids coming out and getting you know better, getting experience every year. And yep. it's, it's nice, like... Um, been involved with them back in 2006, but actually having been involved with Kiwis in lacrosse since about 2002 when they first come out to Perth. Yeah, you've had a few um, play for Basie too. We've hey? had a f lot play, play for Basie. We've had four or five play for Basie over the time in the men's. Yep. Um, Nick Ravenhall, Alex Sluton, uh, Nick Lowe, and Dean Foreman, who did a lot of work with the Waikato girls. Yeah, Dean, he's at Burnside at the moment. Yeah, that's right. He's in uh, South Australia at the moment, helping out down there. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's good to see it, you know, coming full circle, coming back and around. And, yep. And uh, having them, you know, have this experience, being able to play in the Australian Nationals. Yep, as Pipe clears the ball, it's gone a bit of an off pass. He's knocked it out of bounds. And SA Defence just going to, are they going to run it out? Double coming early. Going to clear it through their keeper. And one thing we've seen this week, I think, in, in all the, 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 the boys and the girls and through all the teams is that there's an excessive amount of really good goalkeepers yes. playing lacrosse at the moment. Yeah, it's great. great even with there, that as team. As we say that, by Kieran Snape. Yeah, as even when we see that in the San Diego team, um, you know, they've got the Sparksy and I'm sorry, is it Scott? Sean other, Aaron. Sean Aaron, the other yeah. goalie. And then we've got Josea Bidwell-Barton as the... Yeah, and then you've got guys like that that just missed out and it was unfortunate, guys like Rhett Johnston. Yes, from and, Wanneroo. And from Wanneroo and um, Chippy and all the boys from over east, you know. Like, yep. There's so many talented goalkeepers yeah. around. And then you look at what's happening with the Australian players not being eligible to play in the state tournament this year. Mm. The, the next level coming through, you've got so many, you know, guys, those guys that didn't make the squad, plus the up and coming young guys pushing them to for that for that next few years, you know. Yeah, it's awesome. As New Zealand move their ball into attack, ball just working around the top of the. I'm going to say the fan, but it's not really the attacking <laughs> zone. There is a little fan set there. Hayden Pro Harvey Price with the ball. Yeah. That is his surname, calling by the way. He, calling it his teammate Seager. Harvey Price finds him. Skip pass there. To yeah, Kath beautiful. Garten. Looking to drive. Seager. Just taking it on. Throws it back. Finds an open man at the top. Looking for a to step inside. Again inside to 23. Who is Sam Denise? Cleaned up by the SA defence and making its way. Yeah, the the big boy in the SA backline, Griffin Capella. Lo lo long pole with the oh. 
assist. I thought he was going to take the shot. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't get the words out. I was so excited. But great assist. I love it when a, uh, long a long pole, pole the makes their way into the attacking zone. And that is McIntyre. Yeah, Archie McIntyre to, to young Rob again. Archie's going to take a seat. He's had his big moment, needs yeah, a drink. Yeah. He's running. Oh, no, right, he's going back. back on. On. No. To the, <laughs> run the field, come back to the bench and go to the far wing, mate. Yeah, no <laughs> break for you. Starting to get a few good numbers down here in the crowd this morning. Yeah, nice and early. It's warm. If, you're coming, if you are watching at home and planning to come down, make sure you bring a hat and sunscreen. It is warm. We're sitting on the balcony. There's no shade for us right now. And it's about 26 degrees at, uh, what's the time? About 9.30. Face off one out by South Australia. Not clean though. And picked up by New Zealand. Bit of a nice rap check. I Good love rap them. Rap check there. So he's going to throw it again. That's why I love playing box, so I could do rap checks. <laughs> The flag's thrown, though. Yep. There you go. Oh. Just the, the play being stopped on the advantage because the player took it back out of the restraining line box. Yep. But he's only got called for a hold. Yeah, because he put his hand on him okay. when he threw the wrap check. So yeah, the wrap okay. check actually connected. But as soon as he put a hand on him, yep. So that's comes a foul. Philippa taking a seat. In the sin bin. Um, are we allowed to call it the sin bin? Naughty corner? Yeah, allowed to call it the sin bin. The naughty seat. Quiet spot. <laughs> Moment to think. <laughs> Do some silent reading. There's a lot of space inside on the South Australian zone. If New Zealand can move the ball quickly. Yeah, look at this cart there. far side. Corner. Backed up. is a competition. No, it's going to stick with cart. New Zealand. Was that? that was Ben Cowan. Some South Australians here. One's got a pirate hat on. The girl's in front of me. Penalty's just been released. Oh yes. Maybe that's the dun the like the mistake of the day hat. <laughs> yeah, the dunce of the day. Yeah, I was gonna say oh, something else. <laughs> Not appropriate for broadcast. Not appropriate. <laughs> it's beer talk. Yeah. Go. Denise <laughs> moving the ball across down to Pipes. Pipes pumps it to X. Harvey Price moves it around. Finds Cowan again, I think. Cowan takes a shot. Saved by the keeper. Good save, there. Yeah. That's Lewis Goyat. Ball with Thomas Pipes again to Harvey Price. New Zealand playing a six zone at the moment. Just important to note that penalty has been released. It was only yes. a 30 second foul. South Australia is sitting in that six zone still. Just trying to funnel the New Zealand offence. They move quite well into those channels, the SA defence. I mean, are. it's a really good view up here to see that happening. But the communication's there obviously strong. There are a strong. couple of skips here. There's a 45 that's open. But Cowan finding him. Oh. Could have been a big it's shot, but a fumble. Yeah. Ball makes Good its way ground down. ball there by Finn White. South Australia looking for options. Finds one. Finds Rob at the back again. Good save there by the keeper. Big Snape. outside shot from Rob and Snape. And Rob it's finds his open teammate again. Oh, numbers inside. Snape. And a good clean out from Murdoch Beck there. Good hit. And Snape looking to help. I think he's going to be big in this game today, obviously, with those last couple of saves. Yeah. I don't think Dan Phillip will like that little bump that he wore there. What a tucker does, Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to take it. Sometimes if you don't like it, don't put yourself in the spot. <laughs> yeah. But the defence there for New Zealand standing up strong. Big stand there by, what did we say? Who was it? Snape? Yeah, Snape the Keeper. Yeah, Snape the Keeper. Big stand. That's a really there. cool name for a goal, isn't it? Snape it is. the Keeper. The Snape the Keeper. It is indeed. There's a bit of size on both of these teams as well. Yeah, absolutely. You expect the Kiwis to be big. <laughs> I don't know why, because when you look at Nick Ravenhall, he's like the smallest guy. 
ever play the lacrosse in Barry WA. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, the Kiwi boys are big, which is definitely plays to their advantage, especially in defence and goals. But it's been a pretty well-paced game so far. Yep. You know, both teams getting lots of chances. Yep, score is 5-2 in favour of South Australia. Umpires finishing their umpiring convention. Kim Pant Pants, that's got Kim Panton coming off the field. Pants is his affectionately known. <laughs> South Australia looking for the quick inside finish. Good save by Snape again. Hits the outlet. Snape's trying to get himself in the running for MVP. Oh, huge. Turnover, great. Big Turn intercept up. there by Will Inglis. Finds Tom Perkins and then... Shot by Rob. Oh, oh sorry, it wasn't no, Rob. It's Rob, it's Orlando it's Kernigan. It's another big save by Snape. He's having an outstanding game. I hope his mum's still watching from the supermarket, Orlando's yes. mum. <laughs> oh, big hit there. I don't know if that's going to be called late. Bit oh, of argy bargy. Bit, bit of love between the boys. Just handbags at five. <laughs> <laughs> As Rob takes a seat in the sin bin. Penalty box. As they've had a few fouls. Yes, they have. New Zealand just haven't have their, haven't taken their opportunities to capitalise on it. Yeah. So. Just trying to just control. need to get on the same page. I, th I think. Yeah, trying to work out what their power play is. I've done, made it still switch. Still subbing players. So Beck's made his way onto the field for this power play. Just need to find that balance. He's got a huge channel here, or a big gap, if he wants to drive, but he's moving the ball back to X. Coming I think up the Cathcart is their main guy here. Yep. It's in here. Looking for a feed inside. Good control. But there's still a lot of space there. The South Australian defence seems a bit all over the place, yep. but they, I think they're playing quite aggressive at the... He's got Beck sitting on the crease. He's just waiting for the ball. Big shot from outside, trying to get the crumbs. It was off red, and it will be a New Zealand ball. I think the penalty's been released now, so we're going to go back to six on six. Quick start. New Zealand do have an overload on this bottom left corner if they move the ball quick enough. Walsh pushing out on the ball. Now for Lepa from South Australia. Fumble, will it get to the restraining line or the offside line? No, it won't. And Harris will pick it up and bring it back down for New Zealand. It looks like they're trying to play that top-down movement a lot, the, New Ze the Kiwis. So rolling back a lot instead of... There's no, see, there's no release it. There's no one releasing for him at X. Yep. So he's having to roll back to find that help and it's putting pressure on themselves. Higgins takes a break for South Australia and uh, Howe coming on for this offensive set. Playing super wide at this point, but I guess they're just bringing the ball down the field. Yeah, keeping the field spread, giving themselves lots of space to work with. Yeah, look at this left-hand side channel if he wants to drive. If those guys cut right across, they have a lot of room to move. Double coming. Almost a ward there. <laughs> you giggle at your own I jokes. know, I know. <laughs> I know. No judgments. No, no, not from me. <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes too. Safe time. space. Ball with Philippa. Tom Perkins here. Picked up by, is that, is that Hayden E? Is it? No, 23, that was Will Dallas. Oh, he's Quick got some space there South if he Australia. wanted to dodge that back corner. 
Got Rhodes just waiting around the crease you for some action. Here comes corner. Good check. Good trail check. Just puts the shot off. The ball's going to oh. go the way of... They've called that a pass. Oh, that's the way it rolls sometimes. <laughs> it does. I can see over on the far side, Corey Rainey's just scored a goal against Waikato. I'm not sure if that was the opener, but... Sally's a pretty solid there from Western Australia. Big bull dodge. Whoa! <laughs> Back to this Murdoch game. Beck. Flags are flying. And he's going, what, what, what? <laughs> Which we'll see Perkins take a seat <laughs> in the sin bin. What, what? Big bull dodge from Murdoch Beck. Followed up by Perkins, just giving a little bit back. So South Australia spending a lot of time in the penalty box. Mm, they really are. So Once again, New Zealand get another opportunity to make this count, but if they move the ball quick enough, they've got to overload here again. They just need to see it, I think. React to the spacing. It's inside there again. Three on two on that corner. Got Seeger just hanging high. Need to get some movement happening. And here he is taking a shot. Oh, Good what shot a beautiful goal. Mark Seeger just placed that low and away. He was hanging high for a reason. South Australia sort of overplaying one side and leaving that space there. Seagar just stepping into it and finishing low. Yep, and just a quick score update from the women's game across the field. It has actually won all at this in this opening quarter, which is Wakato versus Western Australia. For our Kiwi viewers watching at home, I thought you might want to hear that one. So we set up for the face-off, back on field one. Face off one out by New Zealand, but picked up by South Australia. Good ground ball there from Archie McIntyre, but stripped by Thompson. Oh, long pole, fast break, and the coach calls a timeout. Why would you? <laughs> it's your worst nightmare as a defender. Bit of a crowd on the far side watching the West Australians play Waikato as well. I wonder what, I mean, tell me as a, because I don't play men's lacrosse, but if you've got a long pole on a fast break, why would you call a timeout? Is it to literally switch personnel for uh, a setup or you just want to use a timeout or? Maybe what? the coach doesn't trust the guy's shooting ability. <laughs> <laughs> As a, uh, as a defender, not that I ever got up the field on a big fast break that, that, that often. I did um, see you trying to drop a few shots at sixes earlier this year <laughs> yeah. with a short Yeah, but that's a short stick. That's, and I'm 43 now, so I'm, I, I shouldn't even be out there. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, I'm always one. It depends who's got it and how well you know that, that player. Yep. You know, there's a lot of guys that you'd let take that upfield. A few years ago, we had uh, Chase York. Yep. Who was playing for us. Yes, Chase, from the US. From the US. And Chase, anytime Chase got the ball, you just let him do what he wanted. To yeah, do. a bit like Cal Robinson. If he ran but, the ball down to attack, yeah, right, like, you'd Chase, let him have a shot. Chase played man up with a long pole in the US okay. at, um, at high school. So it's guys like that that can shoot the ball, you know. Yep. I love seeing a long pole get a goal. Everyone see, loves a long pole goal. One of my favourite <laughs> highlight reels. So we've got the ball back with uh, Seeger at the top. This is, makes its way down to X with New Zealand. Yep. Across the far side. South Australia dropping back into that six zone again. Just getting their sticks in the lanes. Yep, got Beck hanging on the crease too. Ball's turned over. Good pressure there from Will Inglis. 
Oh, big. Great clean out there yeah, from England again. I say big, but I was like, I loved it. <laughs> and Eag with the ball. So Seagar's copping a bit of hits today. <laughs> but I think he, he, he looks it. like a boy that, that, that likes giving a bit of a push and contact, shove. a bit of push and shove. A bit of confusion here. Ball's going to go back the way of South Australia. No, I think it's going to be a New Zealand ball. Oh, sorry, ball. New Zealand ball. Someone on the bench here at SA is not happy, but I'm... But I'm not sure why. Yeah. <laughs> just having a rough day. Possibly offside. Yeah. And Attenborough's gone back on for SA number nine. South Australia trying to push their players downfield to match up on the New Zealand. Uh, clear. A oh, swimmer. It's Ben Cowan. A lot of the ball carrying's gone through it. Just sat young Rob down there. Crossed him up a little bit. Score is currently 5-3 with South Australia leading. SA doing a great job of, and also Kiwis equally as well. And that is, and that time. is time. So we've just reached half time here at this under 18 3v4 playoff between New Zealand and South Australia. We'll show you a few highlights um, while we're on break and we'll be back in a couple of minutes for the second half. You're watching the Australian Lacrosse Network.
Welcome back to the Under 18 Australian National Championships here at the Wembley Lacrosse Club, hosted by Lacrosse WA. If you are tuning in, we are watching the game, a 3v4 playoff, uh, South Australia versus New Zealand. The score is currently 5-3 in favour of South Australia. I'm just going to throw to some comments um, from the Facebook chat. So I've got Sarah Young saying, great effort Orlando, Auntie Sass, Melbourne, in Melbourne, loving this. Yes, his mother is still tuning in, as are his grandparents. Great to know. Pam McLaughlin, go K, slice of goalie. Liz Seeger, our time NZ. Kylie Dallison's giving a shout out to Will Dallison. Kylie Dallison, go Will. Liz Seeger, good work boys. Awesome New Zealand. Anna Campbell, awesome New Zealand. Tyler Mead, go Dallow. Scott, Sean Campbell, go Kiwis. Ben Lello, go New Zealand boys. Fulfilled run, Rolando Lashko. Blake van der Mass, let's go Kiwis. Terry Clarkson, forgot to mention his grandson is number three in New Zealand. And coach, under-18s coach, William Clarkson, along with his three brothers, to go to San Diego in June. Well, that's quite, a, quite an achievement. Um, and Liz Seeger, good work, boys. Give it heaps. Jade Clarkson, go Kiwis. So we're about to have the opening face-off. Frenchy and I are back online. And the ball, was that an illegal procedure? Picked up by Seeger. Finds Cathcart again. That sun is hot today. Yeah, it is a bit warm. Hope these kids are used to, I mean, I'm sure the Kiwis aren't. They're probably training in trackies. And they come here. They need to put their swimmers on. <laughs> Nothing like a cold, wet night in South Papakura. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> if it's close to Queensland, I might have been there. No, no, Queenstown, sorry. Is, uh, no, South Auckland. <laughs> Sounds like you've got experience with that, Frenchie. Uh, the, the coaching, coaching over there. Denise with the ball, yes. looking to shoot. A little turnover. Another quick clear from South Australia, pushing up field. Long pole with the ball. Just couldn't connect on that pass and picked up by New Zealand. Oh, a little nice little roll dodge there. He made it look good, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Another one. Great control. Sam Denise there. Great clear. On the Cathcart doorstep. In. Oh, good clean out there from Griffin Capella. It's amazing if I, as I've matured in my lacrosse, how much <laughs> I really appreciate, like I love a good goal, but how much I really appreciate good defence now. Yeah. You guys used to abuse me all the time. <laughs> Look, I'm not playing on the men's team, Frenchie, but I could have been on the sidelines heckling. Great defensive clear, uh, coverage there from South Australia. Balls with Felipa. Oh, Refs nearly threw the ball into his own goal there. Refs are having a bit of an umpiring convention oh. momentarily. In front of the tent, scoring tent. CBO's just pants there, just taking control. Yep. He's a school teacher, so he doesn't take any crap out of pants. <laughs> He's off Loves to San Diego. Loves a chat. He does. He, I'm right, he's going to San Diego, isn't he? For the World Championships? I think he is, yes. I'm fairly certain he is. Old Bobby Carter, just been animated at the back of the box there. Yeah, flag's been thrown. <laughs> he's gone to sit down on the bench now. <laughs> <laughs> he's can't be putting this in there. Which sees uh, number 60 from South Australia. How sure. taking a seat for a minute on sportsmanlike conduct. Would that be Bobby Carter's foul? I'm pretty sure it is Bob Carter's foul. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and that's why he's having a moment. He's given it a bit of a wave. Sorry, yeah. boys. Sorry, coaches. <laughs> Back to his notepad. He's animated. Can't question Bob's passion. I don't mind an animated coach. I'm sure the no. refs don't appreciate it. But yet again, New Zealand, another man up opportunity here. Just got to make it count here. Yeah, great shot there. Great shot. Great He's, finish there from Ben Cowan. I hope you can hear the Kiwi reaction online. They are really 
giving it some from the bench right now. They are happy. Still, still man up. Yep, they've still got some time. Can they do it again? SA obviously playing short in their attacking um, side of the field because of that foul. No, it's through the midfield you play. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, you're not allowed to match up. You've got to, oh, you I gotta thought you always match up at I either thought... end. No. Oh they well, that. no, I could see. Oh, I couldn't see the third <laughs> SA player down there. Sorry, he's hanging out with the so keeper. So you always got to have a clear wink. Oh, what an advantage! Yeah, it gives you the advantage through the midfield. Okay, well, I don't know my rules apparently. No. <laughs> picked up, or almost picked up. It is. Who's it going to? Who's going to have it? New Zealand fighting for it. Great ground ball there. Who's that? That's Higgins. Jack Higgins, yeah. Great. And finds his teammate in the middle in Rob. Oh, no, that's not Rob. Keep oh. getting Orlando Kernigan. Kernigan and Rob. Yeah, they look super up. similar. I think it's the eight and the six. Yeah, but also the they've got size. similar size, yeah. height, build. So the penalty's expired now. Everyone's back even. South Australia with a one goal advantage, 5-4. Yeah. South Australia sending Perkins onto the field off that penalty. Got to feel sorry for how we had to take that foul on behalf of his coach. <laughs> Bastian Banks has got the match up on on Rob and he's doing quite a good job. I mean, Rob's probably up and about because he's got the goals and the assists advantage so far. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it on the broadcast, but uh, Rob went for the ball. Got a, a tiny push in the rear, I think, or might have rolled out of, rolled out of bounds off a black stick and SA have retained possession. Balls with Kernigan. Will Dallison engaging the play here. Good up. defensive stand there. Snellgar. Oh, uh, who's that? Seager, sorry. Coming in there. Looking for South a Australia feed. trying to force it inside. Cleaned up by Snape. Well, it's getting it aggressive and exciting. Again, yeah. Bit of passion out on the field now. Yeah. The voices are starting to lift. Definitely the Kiwis have got some volume. Rob on the left corner. Looking for a feed, a shot, save. Great save by Seagar again. He's having no, an outstanding. Oh, sorry. sorry, not Snake. Sna it's yeah, Snape. I think I said Snake. Because <laughs> I, I just Snape. love the name. The keeper. Yeah, Snape the keeper. No, he's having a great game. In yeah, he really Snape is. Just a quick update on the far side. Wakato are up 4-2. to two. WA just scored like a second ago. So the score is 4-2 to two in the women's game. Western Australia versus Wakato. Back to field one here. Good control from Kernigan. South Australia get the ball back up high. South Australian coach calling for subs. Balls with Attenborough now. Just controlling the play here. Just Walsh coming on slowly. Gets possession straight away. He's like, yeah, here I am. With Rob again to Kernigan. They're a good little... They've got obviously got some good chemistry, those two. I don't know if they play yeah. together at club level, but they obviously know how to work together quite well. Ball's high with Eek. He's just dropped his defender. Oh. Seager giving it... Yeah, he loves the contact. ...to uh, Ig. Great save by Snape again. Going to go the way of South Australia. Ball's rolled right up the hill. Must have been a powerful shot. He's Big shot from Rob, yeah. He's got a bit of a cannon on him, young Rob. But Snape all over it. Get inside. Little Good defensive dodge. there. Good defense on the on the shot. Just a nice little lift at the last minute. Looking for a big shot outside. Hits a player. Be brought South, back in by our friend Howe. Yeah, South Australia getting lots of shots here. New Zealand just weathering the storm yeah. at the moment. Thompson not playing some defence there on Howe. Ewan Locke here with the dodge. Splits to his right. Defence just get a lift on him as he passes. Yeah, it. Great ground hard. ball by Rob. SA coach asking the players to settle down the play a yeah. bit. Take some time. 
Kernigan just controls it, pulls the ball out, tries to settle it down a bit. Rolls back, finds Harry Walsh high. Step down shot, another save by Snape. And the Snape and is the follow up. On fire. He's, <laughs> he's having a day. Snape the keeper. Got about seven minutes left in this quarter, Ooh. so still plenty of time. Player on the ground. Yeah, another big hit from uh, Capella there. It's okay, he's up. On Ball Nathaniel is cleared. Ford. They turn it back over, New Zealand on the ride. Oh, we've got a Capella. We've got a Capella in the SA boys and girls team as well. Lots of brother-sister link-ups here with South Australia. Snape just using his goal to clear the ball. Cowan with the ball, looking to run it out. South Australia Defense collapsing. Defence coming. Good ride there. Pressure on the ball. Oh, and a light hit yeah. as well. No love lost here. Definitely not. As we see Luak as Luck take a seat. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Really sorry if I'm getting that wrong. Family and friends at home. You and Luck. I say coach getting a bit of energy. <laughs> South Australian coach just putting his stand, foot down, stop making calls that I'm not. Interference Got call there, so going to get a trip. Well, it might be an interference because I don't think it was deliberate. Yeah, 30 seconds. Which you'll see. The difference is if you deliberately trip them, you'll yeah. sit for a minute. English taking a seat for 30. So yet again, New Zealand get another man up opportunity yeah. or power play whichever way you want these to say. SA teams are so aggressive I mean the girls had quite a few cards yesterday and these boys seem to be sitting down every two minutes as well yeah just obviously I mean it's they, they, these are big games so they want to be playing quite physical but you've just got to really yeah. manage those fouls and keep them clean yeah that's right because you can't afford to be playing you want to walk down. the line you know yeah and you know pull it back a little bit once you get those calls you, yeah. you know where, what the refs are going to call and what what you're going to get and what yeah. you're not going to get. Yep, and we've got that player release, which we'll see um, White heading onto the field into defence for yeah. SA. Let me see Cathcart with the ball here. Looking for an outlet. Steps around. Sanford, good defence there. Just not clean on the ground balls, anybody. But that, that's a good ground ball there from... Young Harry Walsh. Got one of my tech guys, Nick, here saying two hands on that pickup. <laughs> Sounds like a coach. There Harry Walsh just steps through, finds the low. Big hard shot man high. Man in Kernigan, and Kernigan just puts it high. There's plenty of power behind that one. Yeah. I don't even know where the ball's gone. Oh, he's got it. Oh. They say girls making their way into the change room now. up is Thompson, and... Ball there with Dallison, passes it over to, who's that on the far side, Kernigan again. Kernigan and Rob, Rob inside to Dallison. Good check by the defence. Picked up by Walsh. Yep, just controls it. Finds Rob again. Inside feed. Beautiful great goal. Little, great movement there for South Australia. Hayden E getting on the end of it. Started with Walsh. Oh. They're calling no goal. I'm just trying to work out what the call is. Interference, maybe. I don't know. Umpire's having a quick chat. Lots of chats today. Got to be sure. It's an important game. Goal is clear. Hayden Eag. They say coaching staff Rob. happy about that. Got a few claps here on the balcony as well. <laughs> Don't be sorry. No, we like it. We like it. <laughs> South Australia take a two-goal lead now. 6-4. I'm loving these close games. Yesterday, WA played Auckland in a golden goal game yesterday after in the girls. Yep. It was so hard to stay calm when it's your home state playing for a golden goal game. <laughs> 
I was there with Trish Adams and she's like, thank God this is not a South Australian game. And I said, there's a reason I didn't ask you to yeah. commentate <laughs> SA with me. Could have been a blue in the box. Yeah. I said to her when it got to go and go, I might just hang up my headset and leave you to it. South Australia fight there. New Zealand look like they're going to come up with it. No. Alex McIntyre, good ground ball there. Oh. Fires it blindly. Throws it out of bounds. This is the thing about composure under pressure. Yep. It's when players start to feel Running to space, it, yeah. attacking the pressure, as we as coaches say, is don't just throw blindly, don't just... Chuck the ball where you think your teammate is. It's almost better to run it out of bounds than throw it into the middle of the field where it can turn them over and yep. come down the field it's fast break. as a fast break. New Zealand moving the ball quite well here now. I've just read back on the comments. I've got Lachlan Eels asking, why is Bro asking for the call there? You got yard salad, oh, yard sailed, mate. Pick up your stick and follow the play. I don't know when this was. Half, the comment was five minutes ago. So we'll just let that one slide. Liz Seagar giving some energy to the Kiwis and Tracy Brobnik. Yes, Hayden Igg. Seagar's using his body well there. He just, uh, big shot there. Gone wide. Good back up. There's a foul. Oh, he's asked for it and the ref's given it. Which will see Capella. <laughs> I think Charlie Clarkson's just sold that one a little bit. Oh, no, it's not Capella. Capella's coming off. It might be Felipper again. Daniel Felipper with about, I think it must be his third foul today. Oh, there's two. Is there two? Is there two Felipers? There's two fouls. Capella's off oh, as Capella well as Felipper. Well. For Lepar. Sorry if we're saying it wrong. We are Felipe, really trying hard. Yeah. Oh, you know the family? Yes, they old school South Australian oh, crosses. Good. <laughs> Uncles and cousins and brothers. And <laughs> so it's a four on six now. New Zealand got the six man advantage. So they work the ball around the crease looking for the right opening. They've got one down on the bottom far side. They tried to hit but couldn't. They also had one out of the 45 if he, had, if he was a big shooter. But it's a competition for the goalie. Oh, oh tried to flick it in. But it was going to go the way South of SA. Australia. There was no backup on that shot, which no. means South Australia will retain possession. And when you're up two, this is... New Zealand should be pushing onto the ball, yep. especially two man up. This is not what New Zealand won. It's good... Result for South Australia getting the ball to Rob. Yeah. SA's calling a timeout. Players. Oh, we've yeah. got a timeout, Frenchie. Let's talk about game day rituals. Game day rituals. Have you got any? Me, yeah. myself. Uh, no, nah, just playlist. I I used to, remember I used to wear the long socks? Yes. Yeah. Always <laughs> left foot forget. first. Really? Yeah. Always for some silly reason. Don't that know is why. an interesting question. Maybe we need to ask everyone at home. How do you put your shoes and socks on? Because yeah. some people go sock, sock, shoe, shoe. No, or yeah, shoe, sock, sock. sock. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe. But it's always left sock, right sock, left shoe, right shoe. No, well, some people go sock, <laughs> shoe, sock, shoe. <laughs> no, can't do that. So that's your game day ritual. That, that left sock first. Yeah, Big left white, sock long first. sock. But I always, I always had to be the uh, last out of the change room. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'd always be standing next to the keeper. Yeah, wow, okay. So Hannah Barnsley used to always want to run on last if it was yep. a when the team ran out to start the game. Um, yep. And you were last out the change room, okay. Yeah, but always stand next to the keeper. I always stood next to Woz or whoever the keeper was. And got, even when I played in overseas and stuff. Yeah. Would you chat there. or? No, no, I just had to stand next to the keeper. Okay. Don't know why. It's just a... Just a thing. Just a thing. Men yeah. in arms, bros in arms. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay, got it. Hey, are you having an um, Anzac Day service this year down at Basie? Yeah, we have it every year down at Basie. Yeah, what time six, is that uh, if anyone wants to come six down? Six o'clock, I think it is. I'll, have, I'll find out for sure, but I'll, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's at six o'clock. Yeah, okay, I'm I'll working. We, we, we do the breakfast afterwards as well. Yeah, beautiful. Club, put on the breakfast. Yeah, for, is that free to community or is it a um, small pretty, donation? It might be like a gold coin donation. Yeah, amazing. You've got an awesome little tradition. We, it, it normally... 
gets pretty busy down there. Yep. I'm working at the service on Rottnest Island this oh, year. Oh, very nice. So very we've nice. got to, I mean, we've got to be ready at five feet. Well, we've got to be up and on the island by four, but yep. um, ready to start by 10 to. So yep. Yep. if anyone's looking for something a bit different to do for Anne's that day, please get down to Bayswater Lacrosse Club or come over to Rotto and say hello. Yeah, just, we, just get to a service. Yeah, you know, it's, it's so nice important. Show a bit of respect for those that have done the done their done their bit for us all. Yep. Actually, at the Freo game last night, a friend from work was the bugler. Oh, very good. Um, at the opening Anzac service, so very exciting for him. As we see the ball with Robert X back to play, we went from game day rituals to Anzac services. Ball's gone high. Ball's he went low to high on that shot, and it's gone really high and really far. And that looks like it's quarter time. Yeah, so that's the end of the third end quarter. End of the third, yeah. And um, two goal lead to South Australia. Yep. New Zealand had their opportunities; they just haven't really capitalised on it. Yeah, be interesting to see. I mean, two goal last. game is is so there's close. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So let's see how this this goes. We've also got a break on the far side. I don't know if this is the end of the. Second quarter or a timeout over there. If I get a score update, I'll definitely let you know. It must be a timeout because umpires are making their way back to the field. Yep. Um, another, just another thing I want to ask you: How's your prep going for senior nationals this year with the boys, the WA boys? Um, it's a, it, it's a, been a bit of a tough one. Yep. Um, just because with the Aussie, um, the the world's team going away, so close to the nationals tournament. Um, None of the, none of the um, Aussie players. Aussie players are eligible to play, but it's giving an opportunity to a lot of the young guys um, in the leagues, not just here in WA, but in, you know the others as well, to to get a chance to step up and play and to, and take an opportunity to make that next level. Uh, it gives you a chance to look at the guys that you know you're going to build for the next four or five years as well. Yep. <coughs> Hopefully, you know, if I'm still involved. <laughs> oh, I think, um, I think but, you've got a few years in, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, and 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 it gives an opportunity for the the some of the older players to get a chance to to impart their knowledge to these guys as well. So yeah, you've got a great coaching group there as well. Yeah, yeah, we we do, we do. It's um, myself, and we're still looking for the assistants. Yeah, you've um, got Nathan Fauna as your manager. Nathan Fauna's the manager. Yeah, yep. Nathan's done a great job last year when we were in Melbourne as yep. well with myself and Glenn. And Glenn, unfortunately, Glenn Morley, unfortunately, not involved this year because he's... With the Australian with team. With the Aussie team. But, I mean, he's down at the training sessions most times, you know, because the Aussie boys have been training with us anyway. Yeah, great. Um, so it does, you know, he's, say not involved. He is involved. It's just not going to be travelling with the team to South Australia. As, As we, we see, see a bit of Argy Bargy. Yep. Great ground ball there by Walsh. Sorry, Eek, Aiden Eek. And again, the ball through Rob. Down to Dallison. Rob looks like a kid to me that could probably or possibly be involved in their senior setup yeah. later on this year as well. Yeah, I did wonder if he was already in the state league. Rotation. He's obviously a very mature player, very intelligent, great lacrosse brain. And E inside. Great save again. By young Snape. Very physical game, this one. Picked up by Attenborough. Let's find space. Gets it down to looks like Dallison at X again. Oh, no, that's not Dallison. That's Tom Perkins. Takes a shot. Ooh. Ambitious from Kernigan there, just trying to catch the goalie off guard. Snape all over it. He's a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Got oh, there's a dad joke. There you go. I've been hanging there out with you too go. long. Oh, that's a really high check. Yes, should have been a hold there, I Yeah, thought. and there is a foul. Yeah. Just a quick score update on the far side. Wakata are leaving, leading this final against Western Australia 6-3. six, or th six to three. So Wakato leading this game right now. I'll try and keep you updated as best I can. It is half time over there. As we see number four from New Zealand having a seat, Higgins. I thought that check no, would be... Murdoch Beck. Oh, is that? Sorry. 
Oh, sorry. Yes, Jeez, I'm looking at the wrong, the looking at the wrong team list. Um, right, I thought <laughs> that check was going to be called really high. Obviously, it was around his neck, but yeah. nothing in it apparently. I mean, okay. Yeah, I thought it was, was going to get called for the hold. They've obviously seen something else. Seen something else. Yeah. A little bit loose there. So well, Norris really. Out of bounds. Norris really, oh, so it's not Norris, it's Rhodes really getting yeah. his defence on, imparting his defensive knowledge on those attackers. Yes, yeah. New Zealand got a good stand here. Yeah, let's see what the man up play is. Yeah, great save again by Snape, and then Scott Thompson picks that up, sends it long, just clears it out, giving them time to reset. Penalties off now, all even. South Australia got a free man on the wing here. Yep, just straight off the bench, which is Perkins. He, He's being chased hard. A <laughs> little bit of a bit, bit of a bump on the way past. <laughs> Dallison driving from X here now. Looks inside, finds. Oh, great ooh. cut, but wasn't able to convert. No. Seagull in the clear again. Seagull's been big today. Cathcart just settles it down. Let's get a bit of control back in the game. You see Johnson coming off for New Zealand and Cowan going on and also Seager coming off for New Zealand yeah. and they look to be sending on Denise. Seager with a great clear and a big defensive stand down there. So he's done a lot of work today. Thomas Pipes. Cowan with the ball now. But Mark Ingram saying Daniel thanks for the girls score on the far side. No worries, Mark. New Zealand just not settled with that ball, just not clean. That's causing them all sorts of grief. I mean, they're still in the game. Very much still in the game. Just a few little errors that are costing them yeah. that conversion on the scoreboard. It's got a man down for SA. He's asking for a call. Is it going to be in the rear? Oh, I think it's going to be a loose ball push. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Girl language versus boy language. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Official yeah. language versus girl <laughs> language. <laughs> Yes, they got the ball at X. Just bumping it over to Law. I just sorry, I'm really sorry if I'm saying this wrong. Lork. Capella, not Capella with the ball. Philippa. Yeah. Philippa. Sorry, they're similar. They look. Yeah. And they look inside. To and they're also 10 and 11. Yeah, 10 and 11. <laughs> Lork with the ball now. And right. Wakato have just scored on the far side, and the crowd, the, or the Kiwi girls, have gone wild. Developer there, looks inside to Eek. Great save by Snape again. Bastion Banks knocks the ball out of bounds. Not a bad result for New Zealand. Just to get that reset. Yep. Settle it down again. South Australia got to start again. Their possession. Developer trying to take control up top. SA defence looking quite organised here too. Rob looking to force that inside, didn't quite come off. Dallison with the ball here now. Good Banks knock just down by Thompson. Yeah, Banks Ooh. just took out his man. Oh, and there's a. Oh, and now we've got some argy bargy. <laughs> I think Howe went down and. Banks dropped a little check. Yeah, Thompson coming off to take that foul. Missed it and hit his head. Also got Bentley coming off. I'm I not sure. I don't think it was. Um, I think they're changing up. Yeah. And Seager going on. There's a long pole. Thompson. Oh, and this doesn't look good. We've got Howe coming off, and he seems yeah. to be struggling a little. Hope he's okay. 
It looked like an ankle when he stopped and turned. South Australia just trying to get their offense organized. Perkins comes on for Howe. <clears throat> it's really fired up those SA coaches too. Actually, both coaches have got a lot of energy right now. Yeah. Still a 6-4 game though. So no one yet, just no one scored yet in this. This quarter, the last quarter, yep. no. About seven and a half minutes to go in the game. Another big save from Snape. A good ground ball there. Who's that again? That looks like Seagar again. Yeah, Seagar with the ball on with a long pole. He was playing yeah. a lot of attack earlier. Now he's switched his back. stick and now he's coming off. He might do a switch back and head back on. Let's see what he does. <laughs> and just trying to organise who they want on the field as yep. Sam Denise comes on. They've still got a man on the penalty, so they are playing a five on six in their attack. They've sent Pipes on. He's just sneaking down the left, is it right hand side? Yep. Yeah, it comes even now. <laughs> Cathcart rolling and dodging on that right. Big shot there from uh, Ben Cowan. Just yep. misses wide, backed up by New Zealand. By Pipes. Pipes Inside sees something look. in the middle. Just tries to force it, just doesn't come off. Yep, keeper cleans that up. Long pass from South Australia out of defence. We've got Ball at X with SA. Frenchie's taken a momentary break to, to be a dad. Ball's gone out of bounds on a shot and it looks like it's going to be brought back in by Kernigan. Kernigan going to move the ball straight on to White. White bumping the ball up to Perkins, looking to drive that right channel. And Frenchie is back, dad duties are done. I did let everyone know that you'd stepped away for a moment. Little Frenchy, or Frenchy Junior yeah. needed some love. Snape's with a big Young save. Saxon. Has to be seen. <laughs> You're trying to shoo him away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Frenchy, go talk to your son. And a big shot. Oh. Bouncer. Great shot from Cowan there. Ends up in the top left side of the goal. New Zealand love it. Their energy has just really come alive. SA making some quick changes. Big goal from Cowan. Yep. Brings the score back to 6-5 in favour of South Australia. We've got a game on our hands with only about five minutes to go. It's going to be a big finish. Could go either way. It'll be interesting to see where this face-off goes. The ground bacon in the sun gets a bit hard and the, the bounce shots come off. <laughs> you can hear the noise now on the field. Face off one by New Zealand. Yeah. Cowan again. He's really stepped up in this second mm. half. Looking to cruise past. Attenborough. Ooh, a couple of pushes there. Looks like a footy game with a <laughs> few chests poking out. Attenborough and Cowan going at each other. Yeah. Oh, yes, and their refs have stepped in and said, hang on a sec, boys. I love this. Rhodes. Rowan Rhodes. Just throwing his weight around. Out. I'm coming up if, if you guys start. <laughs> Timeout's been called. <laughs> yeah. Settle the boys down, get their heads back in the game. Yeah. We're not here to box, we're here to play lacrosse, boys. Yeah, that's right. A little bit of passion, never hurt anybody. <laughs> Is that, was that right? Sometimes. Is that right, Sometimes. Benji? <laughs> Can 
see Capella looks like he's really feeling the heat, but obviously still playing really well. These teams are doing great to adjust, adjust to the weather. The temperature gauge is going up. Um, I mean, we're hot and we're sitting on the balcony, <laughs> so I can't imagine how they're feeling wearing full gear. I know I learnt playing box that playing lacrosse in gear is hard. must be about halfway through this last quarter, wouldn't we? Yeah, we've got about five minutes to go. Yeah. There go. So still a lot of time. It can go either way. New Zealand getting a bit of a run on now. We've got Christopher Nebsky saying, Benny second rip online and Judy Blythe go Ben. Nana and Popper cheering you on. Oh, that's beautiful. So looking at my clock, we've got at three minutes 26. Approximately left in play. Liz Seeger happy with that goal. She's the old score. Sam Nash saying, Benny! So heaps of love for the Kiwis coming in. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's SA, sorry, not SA, as New Zealand have the ball at the top yeah, of the attacking zone. Seeger back on a short pole. Finds it inside. Great feed. Ooh. Bounce too high. Yeah, Murdoch back just digging that one too short. South Australia got to watch that inside yeah. feed. There's lots of uh, opportunities there for the Kiwis to, to find that man. Perkins and Inglis playing those bottom pipes defensive roles. And now we see the South Australian defence starting to push out a fair bit. Yep. Got Higgins hanging around looking for some action. See Cowan and Cathcart. Murdoch back with the ball here. On Seager. Inside cross crease feed there. Looking Down for a again. shot. Oh, good save. Ooh. That was a really nice save there. Was going high to the keeper's left. Just knocked it away with his stick. Score is still 6 5. Let's say we've got oh, about two and a half there. to go. Some real big pressure coming there from Higgins. Price under pressure. There's a foul. Ball's rolled out of, out of the pack, but we're going to see a foul come. Oh. It's been seen as a hold against South Australia, so. Philippa taking a seat. Which gives. I'm not sure if, it, if he's called it as a possession penalty or if it's just a loose ball hold. Kiwis have got the ball. Seager will start with it. No, it's a hold while in possession, so Felipe's going to sit again. Yep, so it's a man-up advantage or a power play for New Zealand. Looking for the open man. That zone working really hard down there. Couldn't quite get his hands on that. I just lost the ball. Seager, but has been cleaned up and he's got the baller back. Still a man inside that's Cathcart open. bumps it down. Moves it around to X. South Australia got to watch Murdoch back inside. He's getting his hands free. Yep. New Zealand just need to make that pass. You see the South Australian defence playing behind the crease man, which is going to give him that opportunity to finish on the front side if they find him. Seeger at the top. Is Seeger the big shooter? No, he's looking. Oh. Oh, and they've evened the game up. <laughs> Nathaniel Ford. On oh, the wow. The I'm going to check the comments now because I'm sure we've got some energy on the... Just off the hip of the keeper there. Score is even. With 31 seconds to go in the game from what I can see. Yeah, big finish from Nathaniel Ford there. You can hear the Victorian girls just coming out of their change room now, getting ready for their final. Their travelling crew support. Yeah, they've got a lot of fans. We've got Jenny online saying, go Kiwis. Liz Seeger, you can do this NZ. Anna As Campbell. See Jack Higgins pick up the ground ball off the wing. Anna Boys Campbell, woohoo. Kiwi, you rippers. Liz Seeger, woohoo. Kiwi's getting a lot of support from back home. Yeah, very passionate lacrosse supporters, the Kiwis. 
We've got a timeout. What are you saying in this moment? What are you saying to your players, Frenchie? Um, I think New Zealand, you'd just be trying to stay composed. Um, hold the... Just just be patient. Don't have to go and play takeaway lacrosse. You know, if it's six all, you've, you've, you've kept it this close the whole game. Um, Snape's having an outstanding game in the cage. The defence is playing good, solid defence. Yep. Um, you just need to wait for that opportunity to get the ball back, collapse on it, and then get it to your offence. Because the offence really has had the run of it in this last quarter. Yep. The New Zealand offence. Yep. I'm just getting a time check to make sure we're up to date with the ALN. So the boys are doing a bit of tet work in the background. I'm just wait for confirmation of how long left in the game. One minute and 51 seconds. Yeah, so the ALN clock was slightly off. Apologies for that, viewers. So there's a minute 51 to go in the game. Just another score update over on the girls' game, the Wakato versus Western Australia. Wakato are leading 8-5. to five. Also sounds like a really close game. Heaps of energy from over there. But one fi minute 51 to go in this game here. New Zealand versus South Australia. The game is even. I can't pick it. The momentum seems to be with New Zealand at the moment, but SA are starting with the ball. Let's see what happens. Just needs to be a big stand here from the New Zealand defence and give their offence another opportunity because they've really had the run of it this last quarter. Just sort of taken the air out of South Australia. Both teams pretty much have all their players up and about on their bench. As we see the traditional style of the South Australian possession offence, yep. where they try and just control it and take their chance when they see it. Yep, they've got Rob in the middle. Which is interesting to see. Yeah. Bit of a check, but they've managed to maintain possession. Yeah, Rob's now come out. Just standing strong here. Just holding them out. Good defence from there. So young Perkins with the ball back yep. to Rob now. Dallison has it on that court, on that wing. Seager playing Rob's short pole with a D on Rob. It's not a bad matchup. See, you know, Seager matches him for, for body size and, and actual, you know, ability. Yep. I suppose in the in the movement side. Yep. So a good finish inside. Oh, and SA have found the back of the net. Great finish by Eag again. He's, yep. he's done that all day. He has that little inside finish. Yep. And it's normally from Rob or I think Dallison then on that corner. Just looking inside. That second cut. It's still time though. Game is 7-6. Yeah, S. Hay has taken a slight lead. Fiona Bentley online saying, go New Zealand, one more, you can do it. Jay Clarkson, go boys. Catherine, I think it's Paul Glaze, sorry. Woohoo, go NZ. So um, we'll, we'll wait it out. We'll see how this... I'd say final min minute, close to final minute goes. Bob Carter being quite loud now down there. There is an illegal procedure. Possibly withholding the ball, yeah. The ball's going to go the way. So the Kiwi player held him down, so yep. it becomes uh, withholding the ball because it's not allowing the SA guy to get of the ball out. SA with the ball and attack late in the game. Just running it around. Big push. Good defence from Dallison there. And he gave, he dropped his stick, the Kiwi guy, and gave me a bit of a see you later. <laughs> Ball's going to turn over. S, uh, New Zealand so desperate Cowan to get the ball down the field. Clearing the ball here through. Oh. Fine yes. support in Seager. Seager looking to oh. shoot on the final moment. And SA win this 3v4 final, 7-6. to six. You can see the Kiwi boys are pretty devastated. SA guys are happy. Yeah. Wow. Great, great, great game between two teams there today, between these two teams here today. Um, real physical, glimpses of brilliance, you know, and yeah, a, a really nice, tight, close game, which... Everyone wants to see. Yep. Except for the coaches, but yeah, you know. <laughs> it's hard for them. But I mean, as spectators, but we know, love it. New Zealand have grown through the week. 
and these guys were fantastic today. Yeah, they really were. Your um, thoughts on MVPs today, Frenchie? Oh, for me, it's got to be the Kiwi keeper, Snape. Yep. I think he was outstanding. The I think he was the best player on the field, to be honest. Um, but it's SA's team game, um, you know, they had a few there. Rob sort of controlled it. He got away with a few. He, he put a few away inside. Yep. Um, young Dallison controlled a lot. Yeah. But the, I think... The two um, defenders also, the, the defenders, two long poles yeah. down on the back corner there, uh, 16 and 17, I've got to look at their names, I think sorry. it might have been Inglis and... Perkins. Um, yeah, maybe Perkins. McIntyre through the midfield was good as well. But yep. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of guys that were close in their, in their level today. Well, just... Um, but yes, 7-6, we'll the defence has really stood out for me. We'll just keep the broadcast rolling for a couple more minutes so we can bring you the MVPs for today's game. The boys are lining up to shake hands now. It'll be interesting to see if our predictions or Frenchie's predictions on MVPs <laughs> are correct. I'm with you, though. I think the sniper is the one that, um, that had an outstanding game today. The amount of saves that boy made. Yeah, he was, he was great. Hope his family are watching at home or if they're not here. And I've got Ashton Hack online saying NZ Golly deserves MVP. Pamela McLaughlin, great effort. Marty Nash, great work Kiwis, fought hard until the end. I absolutely agree with you, Marty. Everyone online super supportive of this game. We've had 99 comments throughout the game. I haven't. I don't think I've picked up 99, but I've <laughs> got a few. Um, as the boys make their way to shake hands and line up for MVPs. Really great sportsmanship. I love seeing this at the end of a game, getting around each other. As the two teams for the women's game start their warm-up, South Australia and Victoria. South Australia will take the right-hand bench and the Victorians will take the left if you're looking at the screen right now. That game will be starting at 11 a.m. Perth time. I can't give you the breakdown on all the different time zones, but that's about 27 minutes from now. Um, so make sure you tune back in for the next game, which is the 1v2 national final, under 18s, Victoria versus South Australia, playing for the gold medal as we line up for MVPs. I've got a guy out there with a really long selfie stick as well. What do you reckon that is? <laughs> if you're if you're watching online, I'm it sure looks you can like a see beach it. Cars and fishing rod, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> is it a camera? A really long cell? Yeah, it must be like a, a phone holder or something. But he's really gone extreme on the leg, <laughs> capturing every moment. I love it. As the boys line up. Maybe it's one of the gooses, mates. Who's the goose? Sam. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> I didn't know you called him that. I call him the goose. Yeah. All right, I will too. Oh, of course, Sam Gosling. Gosling. Yes. <laughs> of course. You know me, I'm all about the nicknames. Yeah, don't mind a nickname. The man Frenchie loves one. <laughs> okay, here we go, MVPs. Taking a long time. Come on, announce it. Yeah. Keeping everyone in suspense. I oh, know they're just handing over the medals. Everyone waiting patiently, including Frenchie and myself. A couple of parents down there as well, eager to see. Hayden Eag, I think it was. Yeah, and the girls 17. are giving him a clap too. For South Australia. Yep. Yep, definitely was number 17, Hayden Eag. Now let's see if our sniper gets it. <laughs> You might have already had it early in the week, though.
this coach, whoever's talking now, has obviously got a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're right, it was the Snape. Snape, congratulations. Yeah, those boys today. yeah, he was excellent. Heaps of big saves. All right, we'll wrap it up there for this 3v4 final, South Australia versus New Zealand. And we'll be back in about 20 minutes for the girls' 1v well, championship game, uh, Victoria versus South Australia. Thanks so much for joining me this morning on the broadcast, Frenchie, and I'll no see worries. you later for the boys' 1v2 game. Yep, you are watching the Australian Lacrosse Network.